She made it all the way from Rwanda to Rome. She's holding on tight to her rosary because it's not just any rosary. It was personally blessed by Pope Francis. Imakule Iligabiza says it was prayer that saved her life. Back in 1994, she survived the Rwandan genocide, hiding in a small bathroom. I remember on the second day, my parents asked me to go to hide to a neighbor who was from the other tribe and was not the target. And I went there, he put me to sit in three by four feet with other seven women. We're thinking it's going to be two or three days. We stayed in that bathroom three months. We never spoke to one another because he didn't tell his children that we were there. He told them that he had sent us away and he lost the key of the bathroom. When things seemed safe again, she left, only to find out that her family had been killed along with the roughly one million people who were murdered. Only one of her three brothers managed to flee. During those horrible months, as she hid in a small bathroom, she says she found inner strength through her faith. She prayed, asking God that she may one day be able to forgive the man who killed her family. I was very angry in the beginning, and then slowly I realized that if I have to pray to God and I truly believe in Him, this anger is not good. And it was hurting me to be angry. But with God's, with faith, I realized that I can forgive. I can ask God to help me to forgive. And finally, I remember feeling just so happy, feeling that the moment came of forgiveness, and I felt like a huge luggage was lifted from my shoulders, and I was free. Time passed. One day, she visited a local jail to meet face to face with the man who murdered her family. I really wanted to just like free him from thinking that I hate him so he can start his own journey to forgive. So I reached out to him and I told him I forgave him. I remember he covered his face. He couldn't look at me anymore. I can feel something came out of his heart. She's a survivor who's authored several books on her suffering, forgiveness, and faith. For years, she's worked to help other victims of the genocide as they try to rebuild their country.